Wednesday of Holy Week. Hail to you, our King. You alone are compassionate with our errors. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. One of the twelve, who was called Judas Iscariot, went to the chief priest and said, What are you willing to give me if I hand him over to you? He paid him thirty pieces of silver, and from that time on, he looked for an opportunity to hand him over. On the first day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread, the disciples approached Jesus and said, Where do you want us to prepare for you to eat the Passover? Go into the city to a certain man and tell him, The teacher says, As my appointed time draws near, in your house I shall celebrate the Passover with my disciples. Then the disciples then did as Jesus had ordered and prepared the Passover. When it was evening, he reclined at table with the twelve, and while they were eating, he said, Amen, I say to you, one of you will betray me. Deeply distressed at this, they began to say to him one after another, Surely it is not I, Lord, he said in reply. He who has dipped his hand into the dish with me is the one who will betray me. The Son of Man indeed goes, as it is written of him. But woe to the man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It would be better for that man if he had never been born. And Judas, his betrayer, said in reply, Surely it is not I, Rabbi. He answered, You have said so. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to your Lord Jesus Christ. Lord God, we tremble to think that it was one of Jesus' own friends who betrayed him, one who sat by him, who broke bread with him. Give us strength, we pray, to walk faithfully with Jesus, even when the road we walk is rough, even when the message of the cross seems like foolishness, and even when we feel betrayed. You, Lord, are always faithful. We stumble. We become lost, but you are steady and sure. Give us the grace to endure our troubles and reveal to us the glory of your kingdom through your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit. Amen.